Let's see how we can add Python path in Visual Studio Code. First open your Visual Studio Code, I have a sample file here. Now you need to make sure you have Python extension installed. So click on this extensions, type Python, and click on this first one from Microsoft. If you already have it installed, you can just skip a few seconds. Now as you can see, it is installed globally. Now go back to your file. Now as you can see here, uh, in your case, you might have to select a default version. You could have selected anything. Now let's see how we can add Python path here. I already have a bunch of Python paths available here. Now for you, what you need to do is you click on this version here and you will get this prompt. Now click on enter interpreter path here. So here if you know the path, you can just copy and paste or you can click on find here. Now in Windows, by default your Python version is installed in your C drive inside users, inside your username folder and go down inside app data go inside local and then go search for programs here inside programs you have seen python so all of my python modules are installed here now select a folder let's say i want to select python 3 9 right and here i just click select interpreter oh, you just need to click on this file also so once you click on this file click on select interpreter and your python 3.9 is now available so i also have now python 3.9 available 3.11 so this is how you can add interpreter path by just clicking uh, Enter interpreter path and going to that path. So if you if you don't know where your Python is installed, you can just try opening your Explorer and searching for Python here. That exe here. Now it will search for all the Python exe files as you can see here. Now you can just right click on this and click open file location. You can copy this, right? And you can go to your Visual Studio Code. Click on this again and directly just paste that interpreter path here at python.exe here all right so this is how you can add python path in visual studio code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below